Hi, I'm Sona with Via Sona Travel, and today I'd like to show you how I use the Smart Import and Decisions feature on Travify to create custom itineraries for my clients quickly and easily. Today I want to show you a trip I'm working on for Japan, a custom private tour for a family, and they wanted two options, one that included a few more components and a big day trip, and one that did not. So the first thing you do, you start off a new trip proposal, just like any other trip proposal you begin with. And I'm going to name this Japan Family Vacation. And the first option I'm going to provide them is without the day trip. So the day trip is a comma Kora. So I'm going to say, I'm going to label it Japan without comma Kora day trip. And I have the first proposal already starting to work. So then we go to edit. And this is when the magic of the smart import comes into play. I work with a lot of different suppliers and they all send their quotes in different formats. I generally just quickly transfer them all to a PDF and I come here and I use the smart import to put everything in. So just to give you an idea of what the document looks like for my supplier, it's very detailed, lots of pictures, it's the many components, different tours, transfers, etc. And if I were to go in and do this manually, it would take forever. So now I just come to new event, smart import, and I've already created a PDF. So you're going to have to either upload a PDF or you can copy and paste everything from the supplier quote, but it's so much easier just to go to the upload and you search for what you're looking for, upload, and you have to go to import down here and you let the smart import do its magic. So then you get a pop up with all the components that smart import read through uh, in the quote that your supplier sent you and you can check and uncheck anything you want included. But the other really neat feature is you could add images. So the quote I had had many different images that the supplier sent. So you click images and right at this moment, you can actually upload any of the images you want to any of the activities listed. So they're going to do the bamboo forest. I could go and select an image for the bamboo forest and assign it. So I think this is a really cool feature. It makes your itinerary very rich looking and everyone likes a good visual. So this, the easier, the better. And then you come down here and you can select imported selected events and you just Give it less than a minute and it's going to create perfect itinerary. And we're done. So we come back and you can see here, day by day, all the components of the tour are uploaded, including any of the images I selected directly during the smart import process. But another tip is sometimes the information comes out of order occasionally, just because there may not be a time listed on the itinerary you received or the quote you received. So it's always important to go back day by day and go down the list and make sure everything is in order because sometimes, like I said, there may be things that are out of order and you can quickly and easily change the order around just by clicking and dragging like any other change you would make, Oops, sorry. just like clicking and dragging the item to any location you want in the order. So super simple. So once this is done, this one itinerary, I go back to my trips because my clients wanted a second option that didn't include Kamakura and didn't include a few other elements. So I want to go back in and I want to create a new proposal, create new proposal down here. And I want to name this Japan with Kamakura day trip. And now I go back to editing this and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the new events, smart import, and I'm going to upload the PDF of the trip I have with the other components added. Upload, import down here. And we're going to do the same thing. It's going to move in the other itinerary. So then you get the pop-up again. It looks exactly like the last one. Again, I could go back, select any image I want. Let's do the, let's do the tea ceremony for this one. Where is it? There it is. 
and click done and give it another minute and your itinerary should be ready. And there we go. So again, make sure you go through everything day by day and confirm that all the components are in order. And when that's done, I also want to give it a price actually, because I want them to compare. So this is the one with the day trip. So I'm going to put in a price and I'm going to go back to my trips. So here now on the left-hand side, you see a Japan without Kamakura and Japan with Kamakura. So let me just edit the pricing on this one as well. And back to my trips. So now I have two different options for my clients. And this is when the decisions comes in. Go down here to add new, you click decision and another pop-up will show up. And you can say new decision, you can label this whatever you'd like, Japan trip options. And usually you can do up to three. I only have two. So I'm going to select both of the ones I want compared and just go to click decision. And now you get this beautiful page side by side comparing all the events, all the price right there, all super simple. And now you can add a summary and you can edit items even through here, but you can add a summary to give them a quick idea of what this one would entail. So this option, Oops, excuse the typos. And I come over here, add summary to this one. So when your client gets the email, it's going to look just like this, super simple. And all they would have to do is click on whichever item they want to confirm and you will get notified. So let me just show you really quickly. Let's go and send this off and to continue to send. You can add any forms you like for this purpose. I'm not going to include it because you would have to fill out every item on the form, but you could add any form to the decision. And I'm just going to send this to myself really quickly. You could CC yourself and you could put any message you'd like, any custom message you have. So since I'm sending it to myself, title it to me. Okay. And send email. And you're done. So you could go back to the trip and over here, you'll see that it's been sent off and I'm waiting for a response. So let me quickly show you what it looks like when you get to your, when your client gets the email. So it'll show them that they have two new trip options and they can just review options. And this is what they see. They could go to view details and see everything again, more detailed. And once they're decided which one they want, they would push either this option or that option. Let's say we're going to do the full day trip. They would confirm and they're all set. They could see further details if they'd like. We come back to us here and let's just refresh our page. And here you will see that you received a response. Oh, they picked the one with Kamakura day trip. That's great. And with one other click, I convert it to an itinerary and I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of how I use smart import and decisions in Travify. I'm Sona and that's how I Travify. <laughs>